Here she comes. Stay cool. You want some of this too, big guy? Eep. Hey, don't hurt my pal, or you answer to me. Whatever. How did you do that? I guess she was afraid of my masculine presence. At Tiger's Lair. Bam. 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 Why is that? Bam. 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 Nerd so cute. Damn it. I can't get that pipsqueak out of my head. When I think about him, my heart starts racing. Am I sick? Don't tell me I'm in love. Or scream of love. I need to make that nerd mine. But how? I don't know anything about boys. It's hard enough to make friends because of my reputation. I beat one guy and these gangs keep challenging me. Fight us, she devil. Guess I need to seek guidance from only place I know. Romance comics. Oh, I didn't know you had a kitten. Her name is Belzebub. Have you ever thought of adopting a cat yourself? They bring so much joy to our lives. I think I have enough cat-like features in my days. What's with the box? It's my new gaming console. Wanna play with me? Sure. Woohoo. It fits. So cool. Crack. Is that tuna? I'm missing my protein intake of the day. Can I have some too? Jim. 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 This looks romantic. I'll try it. Yo. His chin is so big. Slam. Yo. A. My jock sense is tingling. Nerd is in distress. Uh, ab, ah, ah, ah. Um. Got, got to go. Tiger. You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm just sensitive. To sudden loud noises. Stomp stomp. Stomp stomp. Stupid comic. Why did you lie to me? Whatcha biting me for? Nor nor. No reason. Is this one of those psychology things to get me to bite you back? Maybe? Eck. Nor. Happy birthday, jock. Thanks guys. Look at this yummy cake. Come on. Blow out the candles and make a wish. Nah, I don't need to do that. Why is that? Cause I have all I wish for right here. Why have you summoned Zenetrius the Eternal? I have a date with jock. Which one of these dresses should I go with? Eek. Finally. You go, girl. Definitely the purple one. It will rock his socks off. Thanks Zenetrius. Arg. This calculation is too hard. I can't do this. Come on, man. Don't tell yourself that you can't. All you have to do is to remove the T at the end. Crash. And bam. Beans. No, can. But I do miss my tea. No tea. Just can. Because you can. Don't go to that hallway. Tiger is on the loose. Tiger. So Mr. Jock, did you read my letter? E. Oh yes, my little squire has been reading it for me. Oh, nerd ha. Huh? Always hanging with my jock. Do you think I don't know what they say about you too? Dude, what is she talking about? Don't you ever read the comments? What comments? So, would you go out with me sometime, jock? Sure, why not? I'll be wearing my garlic necklace then. I don't think she is a vampire. Well, 
at least my uncle silver buckle will come in handy. I don't think she is a werewolf either. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she is. I knew Lord Zahul's charm would not let me down. You gotta help me, man. I don't know how I would survive a date alone with her. Why didn't you say no then? I have hard time saying no to people, especially girls and supernatural beings. I see. Anyway, can I have that last piece of gum you have? Sure pal. Wait a minute, I see what you did there. But I'm giving it to you anyway, because that's what good boys deserve. I'm a good boy. So you are really going on a date with that stalker? That's the plan. I mean she is kinda weird, but I bet she is a nice gal. Shouldn't we always give others a fair chance? Soon, my dear jock, we will be together forever. This is my room. Looks very... distinctive. I do have my own bedroom too, but you don't have to see it just yet, jock. Teehee. Why would she want to show me her bedroom? To get you in bed, maybe. So I can sleep, if I get tired, what a thoughtful host. So what are we doing? I thought we could watch this classic movie together. It's a love story between a hunk and a shy lady, but there's a third wheel character between their love. That sounds very familiar, I'm just not sure why. Interesting, let's watch it. Man, this plot is pretty confusing. It's still on opening credits. Oh, then where's the explosions? This movie sounds pretty classy, I don't think there's going to be explosions. Tim, all movies should start with an explosion. That's what makes it interesting. You said it jock. May I touch your pecs? Seems like this movie bombed at the box office, so at least there's one. Sweet. Hey, I really got a pee. Where's the bathroom? Finally. In the hallway, left door next to the gargoyle. Did she mean, left from my point of view, or the gargoyles? Oh well, maybe it's this one. Creak. Holy dramatic sound effect playing in my head. This chick is nuts. I got a warned jock. Going somewhere? You. Where? Where's Jock? Oh. He is sleeping nice and well. Oh no. You drugged him, didn't you? Uh, root. It's not like I had to- He fell asleep, just when I was going to make out with him. Rootwinkles, get out of our bedroom. What are you going to do to me? Don't worry, this won't take long. Have you ever heard of Zahul, the eternal tormentor of Black Cosmos? No, no, is he a nice guy? By sacrificing a third wheel to Zahul, he can finally emerge to this realm. Love between me and Jock will be complete. That sounds pretty evil, lady. Oh don't give me that. I have done the sorting hat quiz a dozen of times and only two thirds times got sorted to Slytherin. That skull above her looks heavy. Maybe I can knock her out with it. All I need is a lucky chain reaction. Whip. Toy. Hump. Bump. Whoosh. Knock. Bark. Ouch. Hey. That convoluted chain of events hurt a bit, you know. Sorry. Kaboom. I need to call Jock a sap. Slap. Wah. Where's the bomb? Is Michael Bay directing a movie here? Oh my god. Look at all these pictures of me. Looking good. Hey. Whatever this scene is supposed to be, don't hurt my bro. Move, jock. I can replace him in the age of darkness. But the balance of the universe is at hand. There should always be a nerd and sock, ying and yang. Without nerd, how would the title even work? Title? But if you are still going to do it, you got to geo through me. Uck, I give up. Zahul's eternal darkness is great and all, 
but not without my precious jock. I'm not sure what happened to me, just seeing jock with nerd made me so jealous. I've been obsessed with you for a while now and somehow I thought that getting Zahul's help would bring me closer to you. Sob, sob. But in the end, I end up hurting those who are close to me. Well, sometimes we all make mistakes, even ones that involve sacrificial rituals. Maybe our friendship started with a little dark incident, but I'm willing to give it a second chance. Really? Really? After all I have done, you would still be friends with me? Absolutely. But with one condition, I think my pal here needs an apology. Sorry that I tried to sacrifice you to our elder god of eternal darkness, Nerd. Hey, no biggie. Hey Jock, how come you guys are such good friends? Well, it's not anything complicated. It's just great to know that there's someone who always got your back, no matter what. Interesting, I need to add this to my Nerd X Jock fanfic. I thought you didn't like nerd that much. Oh jock, world of fanfiction is more complicated than you think. Ha 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 ha. Seems like everything went well in the end, and we got a new friend. Even though jock is kinda clueless on clear signals sometimes. But I wonder, how does it feel when someone crushes on you like that? Meanwhile in Zahul's domain. Someday, my dear nerd, you will be mine.